Court. Court is um, when the anybody violate the law, uh, they find uh, what kind of a violation was done, and then they give sentence. So, in the court, should be based on on the law, on the law. There shouldn't be any favoritism or bias. Everything strictly on the law. And then strictly based on evidence. Evidence. They collect evidence. They present evidence in the court. So, and then Sentence, sentence based on the law, because the law states whoever break this law, what sentence should be done. Everything based on, based on evidence, based on, no, no bias, no false witness, false evidence, no false evidence. So, if the court, court is, you know, strictly on this, the society is uh, good, sound. But court is corrupt, all this work, and then the sin, people break the law. They kill people, and then because they have money, they are free. And this kind of law make a society really corrupt and make a sin work. So that's the core God instituted. And uh, when this is done, God really uh, purge, you know, uh, in Israel. Uh, when the judge is uh, uh, not correct and don't do this one, God really uh, severe punishment on the judge. So court has to be really strictly find the uh, violation and sentence based on evidence, based on the law. That's the court. And Jesus is in the court now. He was arrested. Question two. What was the highest court in Israel at Jesus' time? Uh, highest court with, I think it's a uh, high priest? Sanhedrin. Sanhedrin. Oh, okay. This is the highest court in, uh, in Israel, Jesus' time. Uh, Sanhedrin consists of 71 people. People. They are you know, high priest, uh, priest, the scribes, elders, and some high priest families, you know, the, and the president, the high priest is the president. He leads the meeting. Based on the evidence, based on the law, um, they find and judge and uh, they sentence. They can give uh, up to death sentence. But 
for death sentence, they cannot execute. Um, they require the Roman's approval, Roman governor's approval. Other sentence they can carry on, but this one was uh, required Roman governor's approval. So even though they were on, uh, under uh, Roman authority, they have still have uh, this kind of autonomy within Israel people. This is Sanhedrin, that means Supreme Court, High Court. This is the final. So Jesus was arrested, went to the Sanhedrin. Uh, question three. What was wrong with this court? What's wrong with this court? 55, 56. No evidence. Yeah, yeah, no evidence. Mm -hmm. You know, usually in the court, can you just arrest uh, anybody in the street and it happened to Jesus? No, you have to have uh, some violation, the evidence of a violation. You have uh, some evidence of a violation, breaking the law, right? Then you arrest, arrest, and then trial. Trial is strictly based on evidence. Then sentence according to the law. That's the that's the normal course. I didn't study law, but that's how I see it should happen this way. But what happened to Jesus? No evidence of violation. He he was uh -huh. he was arrested. Arrested without evidence. without evidence, and then in here trial, they were looking for evidence. Mm -hmm. They were looking for evidence. This is wrong, and you know because prior to this one, they already decided to kill Jesus. They already decided. They already decided. Arrest him. And then we're going to make him a sinner. Then the sentence to death anyway. This kind of uh, court, you see, is not uncommon in this world. Uh, we see a lot of times uh, this happening is already so, so many places it is happening. They arrest first. <laughs> Looking for evidence. They make evidence. Frame. Yeah. So that's what it was doing right now. Uh, they were making evidence. Question four. Why couldn't they have two witnesses against the crimes of Jesus? Many testified falsely against him, but mm -hmm. their statements did not agree. Because mm -hmm. Jesus didn't commit any crime. So they brought a lot of uh, false witnesses, but Jesus didn't commit any crime. He didn't do anything. Only 
He taught the word of God and healed the sick, raised the dead. What crime? There was nothing. So false witnesses are trying to make up their words, but didn't agree. Um, when we look at Deuteronomy chapter 19, verse 15, um, God requires two or three witnesses that establish the, you know, crime, evidence. There will be the evidence. Not one witness, but two or three witnesses. So that this court is looking for at least two witnesses for one evidence. But their words didn't agree each other. Question five. What testimony was presented by false witnesses? Verse 4, 58. Um, 58 saying, We heard him say, I will destroy this man-made temple and in three days will build another not made by man. Jesus will destroy the temple in three days. In three days, and then after that, in three days, he will build another temple, but not man made, man made by man. Mm. Why was why was it a false testimony? Sound like a Jesus say this. Jesus didn't say he will destroy. <laughs> he will destroy. It will be well, destroyed. It will be destroyed, but not he will destroy. Oh, yeah. This, uh, Let's see, where, where was that? Yeah. John chapter 2, verse 19. There was there also Mark, right? Nineteen. Jesus answered them, destroy this temple and I will raise it again in three days. Okay. So let's say what Jesus said. Destroy, destroy this temple and I will raise it. This okay. temple and I will Raise it in three days. Now, this was the beginning of Jesus' ministry. This is what Jesus said. The first witnesses John came up this 19. one. John 2 19. Let's just see what Jesus said. Destroy this temple. This is uh, in in Greek word, you plural, you plural, all of you like a, you uh, plural form. Command, uh, imperative, command. So all of you destroy this temple. What is this temple? Herod's temple. temple. What is this temple? The temple of selling and selling those. It's, it's like the market. Um, uh, when you look at the Gospel of John chapter 2. Is it Jesus Christ himself? Yeah. Uh, 
21. Can you see it? Gospel John chapter 2 verse 21. But the temple he had spoken of was his body. Yeah. It was Jesus' body. Mm -hmm. This is not the second temple or Herod temple. Mm -hmm. This was Jesus' body. So it means uh, mm. destroy my body mm. and I will raise it, my body in three days. So Jesus says, my body is temple. Destroy my body and I will raise it in three days. Mental this, resurrection. Huh? Mental, mental resurrection. Resurrection, yeah. But you know, how long did it take for the disciples to understand this? After resurrection. After resurrection. So this was the beginning of the Jesus ministry. And then Jesus disciples didn't understand what it means. What it means destroy this temple. And then Jesus will raise it in three days. They didn't understand three years, but after three years, after resurrection of Jesus, disciples understood what it meant. Ah, destroy my body. Then I will resurrect in three days. It took disciples three years to understand this passage. You know, some of the God's words is not easy to understand. Some, also, Jesus didn't explain fully. No, he didn't explain fully. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And some passages I don't understand. 10 years, 20 years. Whenever that passage comes, I just question, what does it mean? But I struggle, struggle, pray, and eventually, Ah, this means that it takes time. But well, how did the people understood the Jesus word here? They understood this temple as Herod's temple, the second temple. Destroy this uh, the building. They understood as a building. Then, so then they didn't understand the concept, they didn't understand, and they added, did Jesus really say man made the temple? Jesus didn't say that. Jesus didn't say this. They added. And then, also Jesus didn't say, I will destroy. No, he didn't say. He didn't say, yeah, that's a good thing. He didn't say. So this, uh, another, this didn't say. They didn't understand Jesus' words at all. And then they think they understood it. So they made a lot of error, superficial, and the error they added. And then they came out as a witness to accuse Jesus. Wrong, wrong. Like a terrorist, yeah. bomb, bomb terror. Yeah, uh-huh. What do you think? What do you think uh, interpret Bible this kind of way? A lot of times, really. Even modern time. Yeah, yeah. Liberal theologians, they interpret Bible like this. It's, uh, with their human head, whatever comes out, out of their head, they 
interpret it this way. And that's uh, error, wrong. It takes years to understand. It takes a lot of prayer, years, uh, time to understand. Do you think it, uh, reading the Bible in this way and then speak out uh, is a sin or no? Sin. It's cult. <laughs> <laughs> it's cult. Cult do it. They just pick up whatever they want. They just made up for their own benefit. Yeah. So uh -huh. it's cult. It's a, it's a, it's a terrible sin. It's a blocking. It's a blocking uh, uh, God's truth. They not only un um, didn't understand themselves, but they teach others like this, like this man. Teach others, it's a great sin. Question six. What did the high priest do in order to solicit the just talk? They asked Jesus. I am not going to answer. Mm -hmm. What is this testimony that these men are bringing, bringing against you? Mm -hmm. The high priest, he presides a meeting and then he encouraged Jesus. Answer, say something. Aren't you going to answer? What's this testimony? Against you? Question 7. Why did Jesus remain silent to their false accusations? But Jesus remained silent and gave no answer. Again, the high priest asked him, Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed One? Because Why was Jesus silent? The scripture said so. <laughs> he didn't say anything. You know, Isaiah he was prophesied. <laughs> you know, in the temple court, there were like uh, how many? Four questions, five questions, and Jesus defended all. Defended all. All those uh, uh, tricky questions, he defended all successfully. So Jesus can defend these lies, everything. But he didn't want to. He just was silent. He's willing to die. Yeah. He, Jesus was determined to submit to God's will. So he was willing to die. And if they are willing to listen, Jesus may speak, but these people are not willing to listen to Jesus. It's no use to talk people who don't listen. These people heart is self-confident. Uh, so it's no use to talk to them. So Jesus Remain silent. Question eight. What did the high priest ask Jesus? 61b. Are you the Christ, the son of the blessed one? Mm -hmm. Are you the Christ and the son of the blessed one? Question nine. What did Jesus answer? I am, said Jesus, and you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the Mighty One and coming on the clouds of heaven. Yeah. Jesus opened his mouth first time. He said, I am. And you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the Mighty One and coming on the cloud of heaven. Question 10. 
why did the high priest tear his clothes? When he heard the, mm -hmm. he he tore, he tore his clothes. Mm -hmm. Why did he do that? He's showing the action, <laughs> following the action, like oh, like he's the guilty, is angry. Yeah, he's guilty, angry. Mm -hmm. and he's blaspheming the okay. God. Um, high priest not allowed to tear his clothes for personal anger or personal mm -hmm. trouble. High priest, he is uh, uh, chosen. He is holy mm -hmm. before God. But if it is uh, anything mm -hmm. blasphemy, it is, uh, you know, uh, dishonoring God, then he can express his anger by tearing this clothes. This is a, it's not a just a simple action, <laughs> you know. The high priest tore his clothes, then whole nation will mourn uh, for the cause. And uh, it is an awesome action. So whole Sanhedrin uh, will understand this is a very serious matter. Why did he tear his clothes? And Jesus said, uh, answer. People in their Sanhedrin, they are Bible scholars. Um, Jesus said he is Christ. Yeah, Jesus said, I am. This has two meanings. First, he said, I am the Christ. This means, I am the Son of God. Also, I am means this is I am God. So when you see Exodus chapter three, I am who I am. Yeah. Exodus chapter three verse fourteen. Moses said, if I go to Israel people, they ask me, what's the name of the God? Of the, eh? and Moses said, what should I say? Then God said, I am who I am. And then God said, tell them. Tell them, I am has sent me to you. See, see? This is God's name. I am has sent me to you. So when Jesus said, I am, all the Sanhedrin, high priest, knew that is God's name. I am God. Wow! He tore his clothes. He could have said, yes, you are right. <laughs> but then he chose I am. Uh -huh. Meaning is... Yeah. Is, he identified himself. Is, is yeah. A, a God. It, it, it is. You know that at that time, they don't pronounce the cast name God like they don't. Mm -hmm. When they write it, they write like this <laughs> because they cannot. Cast name is it just so awesome and holy and they cannot write cast name. They cannot pronounce cast name. 
And then Jesus said, I am. Whoa! Oh, man, he was tearing his clothes because uh, this man <laughs> said, proclaim he is God. Uh, question 11. <clears throat> what sin worthy of death did, uh, did they find in Jesus? What should they do to establish the sin of Jesus? What sin worthy of death uh, did, did they find in Jesus? Jesus uh, claimed himself mm -hmm. as your God. Okay. So I think they believe human cannot be your God. Mm -hmm. Cannot be the God. So the high priest reaction in his word it clearly say, uh, verse sixty four, you have heard the blasphemy. This is a blasphemy, insulting God. <laughs> it's an insulting God. Jesus, they found in Jesus sin of a blasphemy. So, in this trial, in this trial, Jesus said, I am. I am the Christ, I am the Son of God, I am, I am God. So, God said that I am God. What's wrong with it? Nothing wrong. Nothing. Nothing wrong with it. John said, I am John. Right, right. You you showed your identity. Then they said, uh, you must die. Because God said that I am God. Then Sanhedrin, high priest, Sanhedrin, you must die. So what does it show? False sentence. Yeah, false. I I see this one is really spiritual darkness. Darkness. So men tried and judged God and they found they found God was a sinner, deserved to die. Number eleven, second question. What should they do to establish the sin of Jesus? They have to have evidence. Right, right. They have to prove. Okay. If it is court, they have to prove. And uh, Jesus said, I am God. And they have to prove it. And prove it that find out either Jesus is really God or not. All the miracles, all the word of God, Everything proved that Jesus is God. And the evidence is not one or two or three. So many. This is the core and they have to prove. 
without proving they went on uh, to sentence Jesus to death. Question 12. What did the son do to Jesus? Why did they act like this? Son began to spit at him. They blindfolded him, struck him with their fist, and said, prophesy. And the guard took him and beat him. Okay. Who are those some? Followers. Yeah, followers. Followers. You know that followers. Uh, Seventy-one Sanhedrin members. Uh, they were very, uh, you know, scholars and holy people, noble people. But these followers, uh, like a uh, temple servants, high priest servant. High priest house they call palace. It is, you know, uh, really good. So they have a lot of servants. And the temple police. Mm. Followers. Why they jump in? What did they do? What did they do? Like, tell me, can you tell me? What speed they on him. Speed on him. Speed on him. Blindfolded him. You know, um, in our Bible it says blindfolded him, but blindfolded is like this, right? This is blindfold, mm -hmm. but actually, um, it's it's a uh, cover Jesus' uh, mm -hmm. head. They cover whole head, so then. Um, the translation is not really accurate. It's trying to have our modern term. But they cover the Jesus with uh, something like a hood or some, you know. Sack. Sack, yeah, sack or clothes or something. And then, what did they do? Struck him with their fist. Covered his face. Covered and then hit him and then prophesy. That means tell who, stru who struck you, who hit you, you know, insulting him. And then what else they do? Beat him. Beat him. Beat him. So, Why did they do it? My question, second question. Why did they do this? Why did they act like this? They tried to prove Jesus is nothing but human, mere human. Mm. So they, Jesus cannot resist. He's just yeah, on the... So, Sanhedrin, the high priest said uh, he is blasphemy, he is the blasphemy and mm -hmm. sin he committed. Mm -hmm. That's why he want to, they want to follow. Exactly, him. that's what I'm trying to say. Because they observe the meeting, what's going on. And then the Sanhedrin uh, decided to, he, to put him to death. So, Sanhedrin decision. So they they accepted it. They accepted it. So then this act is uh, uh, really uh, supporting. Mm -hmm. You know, we we accept it. It's an act of flattering. It is an act of flattering. It's like they want to be the women's side and that. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Also, exactly. They make it also. It's a Confirmation. Right, right. And they showing that we support you. You are right. Your decision is right like that. So these people blindly, blindly follow their superior. Blind and then do this uh, disgusting act. Uh, they are 
they are mentally depending on their leader. It is so common in the, in the world of religion, in the church. Okay, so, so many people mentally depend on their priest or a pastor or what else do you call? Their mentor. They don't bind. Politics. Yeah, they don't bind that. Go to Jesus. Find out whether Jesus is a criminal or not. They should bind themselves. They don't. And then they uh, just uh, mentally depend on, you know, one woman really accused me and then there was no evidence. So later on, I confronted her. I didn't do this. Why did you accuse me? She said, uh, my pastor said, oh my goodness. As a, oh, you are another blind follower. I, I really hate to see that kind of people, but unfortunately, I saw too many blind followers. And then there is something happened, they are act, acting up like this. Question 13. When will Jesus judge the sin of the Sanhedrin? Um, when will Jesus judge the sin of... Uh, when Jesus will come back second time? Yeah, yeah. Right now, the Sanhedrin judge Jesus as a criminal uh, deserve to death. But Jesus will judge them when Jesus comes back. What we do in this world is not final. The final is God's judgment seat. God will judge every act. So which one we should aim? We should aim to win in a Sanhedrin or we should win in the God's judgment seat. Amen. Question 14. Who did not join the condemnation of Jesus by the Sanhedrin? Luke. 2315 Who had not consented to their decision and action? He came from the Judean town of Arimadea and he was waiting for the kingdom of the mm. Joseph. Yeah, Joseph Ari Arimadea. Didn't he say uh, he did not consent? Yeah, consent. He did he not, yeah, yeah, he did not consent. I, I also feel the uh, Nicodemus, but I cannot bring out any passage to you. So, uh, Joseph Arimadia and Nicodemus, I think mm -hmm. two of them didn't uh, consent, uh, didn't vote uh, to the uh, condemnation of Jesus. What kind of what kind of man is Arimadia that he didn't he didn't vote against this? He read the Bible well, and <laughs> and maybe he's rare, rare person, righteous man. Yeah, lived in front of mm -hmm. God. Majority is not always true. 
Here, 71 minus 2, maybe 69. They are all wrong. Even Sanhedrin was wrong. Majority is not true. So, truth cannot be established by vote, by majority vote. Truth is just truth. And Joseph Arimathea did not join. Amazing. Uh, I read some article that uh, later on, uh, Nicodemus uh, really severely persecuted, uh, like uh, he's all confiscated his property and all kinds of uh, persecution came from the Jews. So uh, you stand uh, on the side of truth that persecution will come. You you stay you join the Sanhedrin, then everything will be okay. But you don't join it, then stand on truth. It comes plus persecution. But he did not join this false court. I forgot about what's wrong with this call number three. One thing I forgot about that it was at night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> court, court was, court mm -hmm. opened at night. Mm -hmm. uh, why, why did they put, open the court in the middle of the night? That was wrong. They hurried. Yeah, yeah, that was wrong. I missed it. Um, question 15. Should they follow the way of Jesus in the court? Suppose uh, you you are you know in the court and receiving trial. Should you follow the example of Jesus? That's the question. Because you study um, what Jesus did in the in his trial, should we follow Jesus or not? Important, important. I think Arimazel uh, and Niodemo also think they. I think they one hundred percent believe. Jesus is the Christ, mm -hmm. so they just uh, can oppose mm -hmm. the thing. So I I believe in Jesus is the Christ. Mm -hmm. So of course I need to follow Jesus. Oh, question fifteen means suppose you are arrested mm -hmm. and then you stand in the court, Houston downtown um, city mm -hmm. city court. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, are you going to follow the way of Jesus, what you learned today? Are you going to do that? You're going to be silent, don't answer, and then only no. <laughs> answer. <laughs> no, because I need to testify by myself. <laughs> uh, okay. Answer is, answer is no, no. No, I I want to make sure because we study how Jesus, uh, you know, uh, acted, uh, defend himself in this uh, before Sanhedrin. Uh, I hope nobody followed that example. Uh, Jesus was silent because of God's will. God's will. God's will was for him to die. Die. So, anybody bigger cast will is to die, <laughs> then follow Jesus, okay? But uh, cast will is 
last will is to live. Then, really, vigorously, defend yourself, like an Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul. God's will was for him to live, go to Rome, preach the gospel in Rome. So Apostle Paul, he had to live. He had to. So it's just opposite. So he defended himself. In, in Philippi, uh, he was put in prison. And Apostle Paul said, beaten up and then, okay, you can go. Apostle Paul said, you beat us without trial. Can you beat Roman citizen without trial? He pointed out. And then they, uh, they were so scared and then escorted him out. And then Apostle Paul said, I appeal to Caesar. I appeal to Caesar. So Apostle Paul knew the court system very well. And then he, he defended, he tried everything so he can live and go to Rome. So if God is, God's will is for you to live and go to Rome, then you gotta defend yourself. Every, you know, and then Jesus, God's will was to die. So Jesus chose that way. Only he acknowledged that he is the Christ, son of God, I am. And then this uh, trial uh, concluded Jesus is criminal deserve to death. And this is not only Jesus' time. Even today, even today, all over the world, this kind of a, a trial is going on. Okay, today Bible study is up to here.